Hi everybody, here with me today are uh, Lauren and Jeremiah Ganser, who are the founders of the Frontline Food Fund. Um, and I'm gonna let them tell you about uh, what the Frontline Food Mund Fund is and what its mission is. Sure, so the Frontline Food Fund is a campaign that um, rallies the community and raising money um, so we can purchase meals from a local Longmont restaurant and then deliver those meals uh, to the healthcare workers um, at our hospitals here in Longmont. So it's, it's a way for us to thank our frontline heroes uh, for all that they're doing uh, during this health crisis and to support the uh, small businesses uh, in our community as well. Wonderful. Um, besides raising the money, what, what is it that you are, what part are you two playing in getting this accomplished? So before we started, or when we started, we reached out to the local hospital um, to really get their feedback and, and make sure it was okay and get all their guidelines as far as what, uh, how they would like the meals delivered. Um, so we're leaving the logistics up to the restaurant um, and just coordinating that between the restaurant and the hospital. And our focus is really on the fundraising um, and helping uh, connect those local restaurants to the hospital. Okay, well that's smart because hospitals have all kinds of rules, don't they? And I guess so do restaurants, really. Um, uh, are you working with particular meal providers and shout outs aloud, right? So we'd sure, be glad to yeah. hear it. So um, do you want to talk about our first restaurant? Yeah, sure. So our first restaurant that we're uh, utilizing is Summit Tacos. And we picked it because it's uh, really selfishly because it's, it's our favorite little local Longmont restaurant um, right off 3rd and Collier by Georgia Boys. Um, it's a, the, the hidden gem of Longmont Taco areas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not going to be hidden much longer with any luck at all. Um, do you need, do you anticipate recruiting other partners at this, at this point? And do you have a line or do you want to hear from volunteers? What's the deal? Uh, yeah, so we are planning, um, you know, for every uh, amount that we raise. So we basically estimated that each meal service will cost approximately $2,000. Um, so for each $2,000, we're gonna partner with one of the two local Longmont hospitals and then a different restaurant each time. Um, so we're definitely open to suggestions. Um, so if anyone can send us their favorite hidden gem, uh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Well, I think hidden gems is a great idea and a great metaphor for uh, the local businesses that we want to support during this time. Um, did you have any logistical obstacles to overcome as you were setting this up or were the hospitals pretty open to it? The hospitals uh, were very excited when we brought the idea to them and um, they provided us with the guidelines to follow in terms of you know, how the meals should be individually boxed and, and, and delivered, um, as well as what days and times would work best um, for deliveries. So they're, they're really excited about it and we're so happy that they're open to the idea and gives us a way to, to thank those healthcare workers. Yeah. Like everyone in this crisis, um, you know, we're all just trying to figure it out and work together. Um, so no negative feedback for sure. Everyone's been super positive. Great. Well, I think the economics of it are just genius. You know, it raises the morale of the community. It, it um, uh, supports local businesses that might be forgotten otherwise. And I wonder, was, was that what you set out to do or did, was your initial idea just do something nice for the medical profession or what? Well, I think we found ourselves sitting on the couch last week and, and just kind of feeling really helpless, um, wanting to do something or give back in some way. Um, so we just started to kind of rifting, you know, some ideas back and forth. And we, we figured others in the community are probably feeling the same way as us. Um, and so, you know, these frontline healthcare workers uh, are risking their own health 
to take care of us. And so we wanted to um, not only thank them, um, but we also wanted to support, you know, these beloved Longmont businesses, you know, in mm -hmm. weathering this, this crisis of a storm. And so this campaign was like a perfect combination of those ideas and putting them together uh, to reach both of those goals. So. Well, good job. I'm, I'm really excited about this program. I hope that um, uh, Longmont Public Media will be able to get some video of your uh, first delivery. And we're excited to see this continue. So you heard everybody, $2,000 a meal. So I hope you'll all donate to on GoFundMe to the Frontline Food Fund. Is that correct? We'll get yeah. a we'll get a subtitle on here to help everybody find it. And thank you so much for giving your time for this interview and for what you're doing. Once again, thank you, Marsha, and thank you to everyone in the community that has donated so far. And um, you know, we just look forward to giving back uh, here in Longmont. So thank you to everyone. All right. Good to see you. Bye-bye.